For this trick we will ask spectator to choose any card from the packet, so for example this one over here, and spectator should of course remember it as well. Now let's take the card and get it lost somewhere inside the packet, cut the packet few times and shuffle it as well. So the card is lost somewhere inside, but not only that, we will also lock it, so we will take the rubber band and we will lock the entire deck like this. So your card is now not only lost, but it is also locked somewhere inside. So let me see if there is any quick and fancy way how to find it. Let's take the deck and we will count all together to three. One, two, three. Ten of diamonds. Was that your card? Now let's see the explanation. We will ask spectator to choose any card from the packet. So for example this one over here. In this case it is Queen of Diamonds. Spectator should of course remember the selection and then we will take the Queen and place it back inside the pack. What we will do in reality is that we will not get the card lost but we will control it to bottom. What I did in performance was that I was pushing card inside the packet and applying pressure with my thumb. So that created a break and now I am using my thumb to maintain it and now I will transfer the break to my pinky like this. So I have still break between the selected card and the rest of the packet. Now I will cut the deck several times like this and now I have the selection on top. I want it on the bottom, so what I did was that I shuffled the deck and the first card I peeled off was the selection and then I shuffled rest of the cards on it like this. So now I have the selection truly on the bottom. Now what you will do is uh, that you will use your pinky again and you will make a space like this. You will push the last card of the packet, the selection, and now you will take a rubber band and place it inside the space you created like this. Now you will stretch the rubber band, use this finger to pull it down, now turn the rubber band to you and now finish it like this. And you have it done. I know it was kind of quick, so let's do it again. And now you will take a rubber band and place it inside the space you created like this. Now you will Stretch the rubber band, use this finger to pull it down, now turn the rubber band to you and now finish it like this. And you have it done. So I hope that was better and that you were able to catch all details of this construction. What you have created should now look something like this. Now everything is done. You will place your hand under the top part of the rubber band you have here and this will release the construction. Now you have to hold the cards pretty tightly, but once you will release it, the card, the selected card will jump on the top of your hand like this. So this was the trick. I hope you liked it. If yes, please give thumbs up. Thank you for attention. See you next time.